Hi everyone, you are watching a replay of Blockhead U. This is our hangout, we're here weekly, uh, and we're all New Kids on the Block fans talking about New Kids on the Block with uh, other New Kids on the Block fans. So, um, this is also a live event, so I'm just going to sit tight while people roll in. Hi everyone, um, I realized last week that <laughs> Um, at the beginning of the lives, I feel like uh, the host of like Romper Room, you know, I see Sarah, I see Darcy, I see Cherry, I see Sherry, I see Teresa. Hi, everyone. Okay, um, so, okay, we'll just pause and wait. Hi, Jessica. Um, today's just going to be me because uh, Ashley is away on vacation. Maybe she will also pop into the chat. I don't know. Uh, it's Ashley's birthday. Happy birthday, Ashley. Uh, she is the big 4-0. I don't think I'm spoiling anything by saying that. Um, and oddly enough, it's also uh, her sister <laughs> Elena's birthday. They're twins. So happy birthday to Elena. And uh, I think I saw some other uh, blockhead, blockhead celebrating their birthday today, like Aaron. Happy birthday. Uh, Really happy birthday to everyone out there, but especially Ashley, we miss you. I miss you already. I'm only one minute into this and I miss your presence. So uh, wish me luck. Megs, are you okay to moderate? I'm gonna send you a little invite. Um, if you can't, no worries, but let's just see. Okay. All right, so yeah. How is everyone? doing as always in case we have any new people here um my name is melanie and i am joining you from toronto canada typically i would be here with my co-host ashley but as i mentioned she's off in disney world celebrating her birthday uh in the chat if you are willing let us know your name and where you're joining us from uh, because we love to see where in the world everyone is coming from. We, I know we typically have like a lot of Americans, uh, some Canadians peppered in there and the occasional like person in Europe and uh, South America as well. See, there's somebody from Germany. Hi. Wow. Okay. Thank you guys so much for uh, joining us this evening or joining me this evening, I should say. Um, I just wanted to um, say a couple things. I'm going to read off of something that I wrote, just so I, I just don't want to mess it up, okay? Um, so since we last met, we lost one of our blockhead sisters, Jenny, also known as JK's Mental Shot on social media. And most of you here either knew her well, had met her in person, or were following her on social media, uh, where through her photography and videos, Jenny shared her joy with us and brought everyone along with her on her blockhead adventures over the past year. Um, if you've been watching this live regularly, you know that Jenny actually joined Jenny and me as a guest here last month. Ashley and I didn't know Jenny personally, um, and we didn't get to meet her offline, but between the conversation that we had here and other exchanges on social, Jenny's radiant personality shone. In the few interactions we had with her, we learned that she was not only beautiful, but also clever and talented, vivacious, generous, and just exuded positivity. We can only imagine the indelible marks she left on her close friends and how they must be feeling right now. Our hearts and most sincere condolences go out to them. Uh, I went back and rewatched a live that Jenny was on and I wanted to share a few things that she said with you. I hope that you'll keep these with you should you ever question why you're a blockhead or if you ever need an extra push to just buy the ticket. So when asked why she decided to go all out in 2022 after having not seen the new kids for 30 years, Jenny said, through COVID, it was really hard, and I always turned to new kids through these hard times. They pulled me through so much, not just Jordan, but all the guys. I wouldn't be here without them, no joke. I just thought, what am I waiting for? I thought, forget it, I work hard, it's my money, it gives me joy, I'm, I'm just going to go. And then when reflecting on her year, she also said, it can only get better because it can only be a deeper level of love a deeper level of respect and a deeper level of joy that people wouldn't understand unless they're a blockhead. And finally, when describing the adventures she was able to join in on, Jenny said, 
Part of going to the events is seeing people who have a piece of your heart. Thank you, Jenny, for sharing your joy with us and for sprinkling your confetti in our lives. BH love eternal. Um, so how do I elegantly segue now into our usual live? Um, I think I'll just say that in the spirit of our community and Lockhead Love, let's just get to know uh, a couple more sisters, okay? Um, next, I'm going to bring up Jenny. This, uh, we have a lot of Jennies that we're talking about today. So I'm going to find Jenny. In the meantime, please talk amongst yourselves. And bear with me while I find her. Yes, I see the chat. Yes, Charlene, glad to know all of you. Yeah, of course, I had to mention her, Teresa. I, she was just here just last month. Okay, um, Jenny, I have sent you a request um did you get my my invite i'm gonna try again i think okay i'm gonna send you another invite let's see how this goes um thank you jessica okay jenny could you send me a request to join because I um, have sent you an invite a couple of times and I'm not sure you're receiving it. Okay, so Jenny, it's telling me <laughs> that you are unable to join. Um, can you maybe try, we were having this issue with a few people last week. Um, how about we try to, can you leave the live and then maybe rejoin and We'll see, uh, let me know when you're back into the chat and then we will try bringing you in again. But if it doesn't work, then maybe what I will do, Jen, uh, our other Jen, I know that you were here. We might bring you in a little bit earlier than we expected, okay? Or that we had anticipated. In the meantime, I will keep an eye on the chat and those blockhead chicks, yes, they're saying buy the concert tickets. Oh, did anybody get their tickets to the California show? Um, let me know if you are officially going to see them. I think it's June 30th. Okay, so Jenny is back. Um, there we go, let's see. I think, this, I think this is promising. Cross our fingers. Yep, there she is, hi! <laughs> How I was you? trying to join from my from my computer first, and that was obviously difficult. you know you know what <laughs> I I typically tell everybody that, and then I was chatting with Jen earlier, and I was like, oh, I gotta tell her to not go from her computer, and I totally forgot to tell you. I'm sorry uh, about that. No worries. No, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so can you please introduce yourself to everyone in the chat and let them know from where you're joining? Yeah. So hi everyone, um, I'm Jenny Cervantes, or uh, some know me as the OG cover girl or the original cover girl um, from the Hang and Tough Live video. I'm a California girl who lived in Arizona for a couple of decades and now I am in Austin, Texas. All right. Well, thank you so much for having. I, I'm so like this is going to be such a good conversation. All right. So you <laughs> we're just going to cut to the chase. You were the original cover girl so that means that again if you anybody who's seen the music video for cover girl from back in the 80s the little girl that johnny sang to that we all were jealous of is jenny okay <laughs> so i need to know how, how how did this happen how did this happen <laughs> i'm just gonna sit here <laughs> crazy, crazy whirlwind um so uh, 1989, uh, my cousin Lisa won four tickets from a local radio station in LA, and she decided to bring our, our cousin Sandy and my two sisters. So there's three of us in, in our family, all girls, I'm the baby. And so she decided to take my two older sisters, um, me being eight years old, and I was totally fine with that. 
Um, so after school, my cousins, my sisters, my aunt and my mom and I just hopped in a car and went uh, to the venue. My sisters and my cousin changed their clothes before the concert, but I did not. Uh, I went to a private Catholic school and there was no reason for me to change. I wasn't going to the concert and had plenty of time to go back home and to get changed afterwards, or so we thought. Um, so we arrived to the venue, we get in line. It's chaos. I just remember there being tons of people. Um, so we, we hop in line and we're waiting in line forever. And um, I have to go to the bathroom. So uh, my mom, my aunt and I go to the front of the venue and my mom asks if I can go to the restroom and they're like, you know, no. <laughs> so then she asks if um, she can buy a ticket and they're like, you know, no, it's a sold out, you know, concert. It's not, you know, for sale, whatever. And at that exact moment, um, the door swings open and Donnie pops his head out. And then of course, everyone just, screams um and we're just looking around like oh my gosh what is happening um and like taking it all in um and then a big security guard comes up to us and says you know can you come with us and we're like oh freaking like I didn't know I was just eight years old going with the flow my mom was <laughs> freaking out a little bit like what did we do wrong <laughs> we just got here we, we just what did we do? sorry just bathroom <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I don't remember a lot of the details. I remember the big pump, right? So I remember them lining me up with a couple of other girls. And I remember the girls had, like, their hair. I mean, this was the 80s, right? So their hair up feathered and, like, big bangs and, like, super cute and, like, super cute outfits. And um, so they lined us up and, and Donnie chose me. Um, so from there, we went into the, the concert venue or to the, the seating area and all the girls were together. So it was almost like a little party. So it was kind of nice. There was a bunch of, you know, little girls, um, we were all together with our moms and stuff and they just kind of told us what I was going to do and like, we're prepping when we'll come in from here and whatnot. And I was just kind of like, okay, like, we'll just go with the flow um and so yeah that first concert um I remember I came onto stage from the side and the security guard that walked us in was so awesome like he was just like taking care of me the entire time because of course they had the pit in the front and all the girls right on stage and so he had to almost like clear a path <laughs> to get me up there and then he during the first concert there were two uh he lifted me on stage um and that first concert I just froze mm -hmm. I think I was probably like out of body experience <laughs> I, I think that's a reasonable <laughs> reaction considering <laughs> everything that was going on. Uh, can I just ask you, sorry, when you were going to the concert, so your sisters had tickets, they were going to the concert, did they know that it was going to be filmed? I, I don't know. Okay. I don't think so. I, I'm not sure because I know she won the tickets and I, I, I wonder uh, if they, I should ask her, I should ask my husband Lisa, but I have no idea. People are asking what venue was it? Do you remember? Um, in LA, <laughs> I have the ticket. Well, I bet we could also probably find it online because that's where the Hangin' Tough, you yeah. know, video, like the concert video was, was filmed. We could probably find that somewhere. Or, yeah. My or somebody in the chat probably knows. everything. And I actually posted like the ticket. We had a backstage pass and it was signed by someone, um, that authorized the pass and we had t-shirts signed and hats and all that stuff. So yeah, definitely. I'll post it afterwards. Okay. Okay. So sorry, I interrupted you. So that was the first show you, you were like, it was an out of body experience with pros. <laughs> I froze. Yeah. So probably not the best take. <laughs> um, so the, the whole concert, they did full on every song, um, full on through. And then they emptied the, the auditorium. Everybody you know, got kicked out. Um, oh, people are saying it was the Mayan. Yes, that sounds okay. right. Yeah. The Mayan theater in LA. Um, so yeah. So when they ushered everybody out, we stayed in the lobby. So my mom, my aunt, and I we were able to kind of stay stay there in the lobby area. Whoops. Uh, so 
Um, my sisters and my cousins, actually, we, we had lost touch with them. So they had no idea that I got pulled on stage. It was a, a two-story venue. Oh. And it just so happened they ended up on the very top, like one of the last rows. Mm -hmm. And they were... 9, 14, 16, so they were short, <laughs> couldn't see yeah. anything at all. Um, so yeah, so when everybody was ushered out, we luckily find, found them, and so they stayed in the lobby with us, um, and the security took me to the back to, to hang out with Donnie, and then Donnie was like, oh, he opted to come out to the lobby and, and hang out with all of us. Um, and so we, we hung out for, felt like forever when you, you know, <laughs> back. Um, but I think Donnie came out and Jordan and John and maybe Danny for a little bit and they signed hats and shirts and gave us candy and just kind of made us feel really comfortable, yeah. with that. especially me. I, cause I, you know, froze that first time they were joking with us and, you know, Donnie called me his little girlfriend and, and just made me feel super, super <laughs> comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then when we were going to do the next concert, they reconfigured where I was going to go up on stage. So I went on stage from the middle and this time the girls helped me up instead of the security guard. Oh, right. Um, and John, I think Donnie too, he helped me, um, uh, but yeah, so yeah. And the rest is history. <laughs> so, so which take, do you know which take they ended up? You it was did? the second one. It was the second one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that first take is like in some vault somewhere. If you've ever seen it and you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm curious too. And I, I mean, it, I think having that time between just made me so much more comfortable yeah. where yeah. I was just like, oh, it's just me and Donnie up here. No big deal. <laughs> Carla asked, um, what was one thing you remember about being that close to Donnie on stage? He was so sweaty. <laughs> so sweaty. <laughs> I remember because I complained about it. Um, so <laughs> even between now you're probably like, <laughs> I mean, I, said, I was eight years old and I was not I'm right, exactly. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. even between concerts I was like I don't want to do it I don't want to go again and my aunt was like I'll take you to Six Flags just do it again. this is such a great opportunity you have to and so I did and but that was like one of the reasons why I was just like oh it was so sweaty the first time <laughs> <laughs> of course they're up there like busting their ass <laughs> right <laughs> oh my gosh okay so then like the video came out like did they tell you oh it's going to be coming out on this day or how, how did you even know communicate from what I remember nothing like we had no idea like where that video was gonna go we didn't yeah nothing from from what I knew and then when it came out I, I think it was that same year but months later yeah, yeah. I, it was a whirlwind because I I mean just the concert happening um they were already super popular yeah. and at eight years old i didn't know who they were okay. but a lot of other people at my school sure did and yeah. so <laughs> my mom was the librarian at my elementary and so she would you know tell her friends and tell you know folks at school and so it just spread like wildfire yeah it was so what was the like what was the reaction like when it came out where like what did your friends what did people in the school say did they think that you were like super cool or were they like <laughs> I Super know. cool. Yeah, it was yeah. bananas. Bananas. I feel like I became overnight. I had so many friends, <laughs> and a lot of them were like eighth graders. Like the cool eighth graders were like, "Oh, where did he kiss you? Can I kiss you in the same spot?" <laughs> <laughs> they would be like, "Can I have your shirt that you wore on that day?" Like really randomness. Um, yeah. It, I mean, it was it was a overwhelming to be honest yeah. for eight you know I didn't really understand it and I didn't know how to react to it and I was always a little shy so <laughs> whew, yeah it was bananas I, I wonder where are those other girls that didn't get picked for the video are we should find them too <laughs> I feel like um on social media somebody at some point was like oh my cousin or my niece's cousin or something like that was was one of the girls I should look back see that oh yeah, okay curious. so um okay so afterwards so you said that you 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 knew who new kids were but you were really young maybe you weren't a fan so like did you become a fan did you follow oh, them sure. through like step by step and face yeah 
Oh, for sure. Yeah, we had yes. all of the albums thereafter. Um, I think probably so we had Hanging Tough and then their Christmas album and then Step by Step. And then I think after that kind of tapered off, like I would follow them as much as I could. Um, but we didn't have like cable and I would follow them like they were on Oprah, I remember. Yes. And um, just all the talk shows that they did. I remember during Oprah, though, one of the, like, when they cut to commercial, they they cut to the, the cover girl video. Yeah. And I just died. I was like, oh, my gosh. It's like I was on Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were on Oprah. So, I'm sorry, there are some people who joined the live who are trying to understand what we're talking about. So, this is Jenny. And when she was a child, when she was eight years old, she was the little girl that Donnie sang to in the music video for Cover Girl. There we go. We're setting the scene. <laughs> okay, so you uh, carried on uh, being a New Kids fan. But okay, so a few years ago, Nikki and Brooke from the My So Called Whatever podcast, like, ventured out to find you. Um, so I want to know, like, what was that whole experience like to find out that people were looking for you? Because I know, like, I, you know, uh, I kind of rejoined the new kids fandom a few years like after the reunion and like on social media and like when I was like joined the Facebooks I was like well, where's the cover girl like I like would love to know where she is like what why isn't she like front and center here <laughs> so um yeah what was it like to kind of find out that people were looking for you and that people were really interested in your story and that people wanted to be you <laughs> Humbling. I mean, that's the yeah. only word I can I can think of that really describes it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I joined Twitter in like 2010. Yeah. To follow Donnie. <laughs> that was my goal. I wasn't really active and um, I didn't post much. I was mostly just an, an observer. Yeah. Um, and I used Facebook and Instagram really just to connect with people I knew, like my own friends, old friends, um, and reconnect, you know, with, with I moved from California to Arizona and so a lot of that was just reconnecting with mm -hmm. my family and friends and whatnot um, across the way so I would um, post my new kids history because it's always been a thing in our family right it's like a running you know just kind of cool moment yeah um, so I would always just kind of post it from time to time and a lot of friends that I went to like high school or college or whatever that didn't really know were like you know we would reminisce and be like oh my god I know that was you because I didn't really tell everybody that I met <laughs> That, that happened um unless we had like a new kids connection um but i would i would watch youtube a lot and the video so probably like the 11 million new views that are on youtube uh i'm probably about a million right <laughs> right <laughs> and i would just read the notes and comments that people would leave and i think that's when it kind of like hit me like oh this is something like other people aspired to do and be and, and that, you know this it's me. something that people are still thinking about, right? Right. Yeah. Right. And it's just, it's mind-blowing. It's, it's, it's tough to wrap my brain around it, honestly. <laughs> okay, so your daughter got a special experience during the concert as well. Can you fill us in on that? Yeah, so um, during the mixtape tour, um, a little birdie told another birdie who told another birdie. <laughs> <laughs> So I think it was Maria in our my so-called whatever group who like put in a little word like an idea out there um, into the universe and it came back and you know Donnie and team asked if we wanted to to be the cover girls for for the concert that uh, during the Phoenix concert and of course we were all about it and so we had a shirt made for Sierra, my daughter, that said CoverGirl 2.0. <laughs> I had my CoverGirl jacket from, from Jenny's line when she had that CoverGirl girl jacket, jean jacket she sold. And yeah, that was just an amazing experience that we could reminisce. She was, I think she was 11 at the time, mm -hmm. maybe 12. Yeah. And um, was she a fan? Like, I think because of, well, what's hilarious, actually, she was in sixth grade, so she was 12, so that's how I could place her. Her teacher, her favorite teacher, Mr. Swint, was a huge fan. Huge. Oh, okay. And I think that's when she really kind of got into it and was like, this is pretty cool. Like, Mr. Swint, my favorite teacher, is all about it. And, and just so happened at that concert, we sat in the same row a few 
a few chairs down. It was from, so from her teacher. Yeah. Yes, from her theater, that venue. And so he, he, he filmed us and he was like, that's Sierra's mom. <laughs> <laughs> he sent us the videos afterward. And yeah, she's still a blockhead now. She's a teenager. So, um, you know, she's into her own things. But yeah. yeah, it's always like a great, crazy moment that we can share. And a, a lot of people are asking, have you met like Donnie since then? Blah, 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 you know, but back in 20... 18 I think it was right you also got to relive the experience on the boat so yes. tell us about that we did and that was probably the first time I saw him again up close okay. since the original experience was he just so was he sweaty or less sweaty <laughs> I think he was sweaty but with champagne on top of it oh, okay. we were both like sticky and sweaty from the humidity <laughs> The alcohol that flows on the boat, really. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah. So, we went to the 2018 cruise, and that was such a whirlwind. I feel like that was, you know, it takes a village kind of a, kind of a moment. And there were so many people that were, like, on a mission to find me on the boat and, like, coordinate this moment once uh, it was decided to, to happen, I guess. And oh, but wait. What were you wearing? <laughs> That's, that's my favorite part. So I wore a, a replica of my private school uniform. <laughs> the block anniversary. It was block anniversary night. So yeah. reminiscing, right, on the old So you have, like, the ponytail with the scrunchie and, like, the... Oh, like, yeah. All shirt, out. I think. The outfit. Yeah, mm -hmm. I even got LA gears and my blue socks. So you came dressed as yourself. I did. Yeah. I did. <laughs> I remember when they like called you on stage. I was like, ah! I was screaming my head off. It was so cool. Okay, so sorry, but I interrupted you. So you were dressed as yourself, and you know there were some behind the scenes, yes, things there happening. A lot of coordinating behind the scenes to like figure out logistics and like get me to the stage and like make it happen. So. It was, it was awesome and always appreciate everybody that kind of helped coordinate all of the chaos. Um, so that was awesome. The so people are, are asking, where can we see this? You must have it somewhere on your, on your Instagram page, right? Definitely. Yeah. I posted it on my Instagram and my Facebook page. I think there's some links on there too. Um, but even just if you YouTube 2018 yep. Blockhead Crew cover girl or OG cover girl, I'm sure you'll find other, it. Other people find have it. posted it. I feel like that was the most widely posted video that I've seen so far. Right? Because people didn't know that you were even on the boat. It's not like it was widely, you know, announced. But once people were just kind of like, you know, the connections were being made in their head. Like, right. We all just, uh, yeah, lost like it. And we got to see you like he, he was so cute. And you did like the little side to side <laughs> dance. And everything, just like what you did in the video. Okay. It was so sweet. Yeah. And I mean, I was so nervous. And like, yeah. I feel like having a conversation beforehand maybe would have made me a little bit less nervous. But I was like, just don't fall off the stage. I'm super clumsy. And anybody who knows me knows <laughs> that's the case. So I get very much in my head, like, don't fall on your face. <laughs> Take one step after another. So I feel like I'm just so in that in my head versus like trying to enjoy the moment. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay so there too it was like a wave that went across the crowd of realization yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah because at that point you're like again you, this, you know you're a, on a boat full of you know, people who again when they were children they wished that they were you <laughs> that, that's crazy that's awesome crazy well and, and I, you felt the love up there too i mean i really like just the girls that, that were like right in front of me and just the, you know, sounds of everybody screaming. It's just, yeah, humbling. Yeah. yeah. So typically in, in these lives, we ask everyone, what was your most legendary moment? I mean, okay, so if, if we're going to like, well, essentially, what was your fourth most legendary moment? Because we're going to assume that you being the cover girl the first time, you being cover girl the second time, and seeing your daughter being the cover girl are your top three. What's your fourth most legendary moment as a blockhead? I mean, honestly, the whole damn journey. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. is just what a, 
what lessons are made of, right? I never, never could have imagined what actually transpired, right? The past five years, it's bonkers. Um, so the redo on the cruise and all those moments wrapped into one. Um, and just, you know, 34 years ago, this thing happened and then that turned into what would happen the past five years. Like it's mm -hmm. bonkers. Um, and really, I think just meeting everybody that I've met um, and just the support that I felt. Oh, I don't want to cry. So, you know, the friends that have like come on tour with me, like my friend Janessa and my husband and the My Soul Called Whatever crew, um, they've just always been so supportive and oh, yeah, and, and just made me feel, you know, welcome. And, and I think that was probably my biggest fear of like, becoming more, more well known yeah. and like the blockhead community. And um, it's just, you know, people sometimes aren't nice. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah. you know, what I, it's unexpected, I think more than anything. Um, but the support from everybody has been so amazing. Good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that everybody has been so receptive uh, to you and Edmonds have been kind to you because um, if they haven't, they have a whole posse of us to deal with. She's OG, yeah. right? Don't mess with OG. <laughs> and you too, Melody. You came, I think, uh, to my cabin on the cruise and to just like introduce yourself and like hang out for a little bit. And I think, I think so. Yeah, because you know, like, I mean, you were. I think you know you were a you know were a busy gal on the boat as well too. But I remember, yeah, I don't know if Brooke and um, Nikki are here, but like when I first heard one of their very first episodes, I messaged one of them, and I was like, again, because again, I was like obsessed. I'm like, where is the original cover girl? I challenged them. I said, find that, find her. Like, this is your challenge. Find her, and they took it on. And like, you know, it took a while to. <laughs> <laughs> to find you and it, it, you know really, there were a couple of leads I, I remember i even reached out to the director of of the music video yeah no and he was, way <laughs> he didn't offer me any assistance let's just say and i don't think he was terribly <laughs> interested in finding in, in helping uh, but um but yeah but you know i guess you know with the with the social media of it all and the facebook groups you know we were able to well they were able to find you so big kudos to them and we're so happy to that you're here like and i know that um over the past couple of years it's been really busy in your life and you haven't been able to be like as immersed um in all of the uh blockhead adventures yeah um so like do you think you're gonna be able to kind of join in this year do you have anything in your calendar i hope so um so i know up here in austin they don't generally come out to austin so it's usually dallas or houston and they have i think the houston rodeo coming up so it's an option but it's excuse me during the week so it might be yeah. a tough one. um so i've been looking at block con but i dragged my feet a little bit so i know the vips are sold out so still looking at those probably um, gonna pull the trigger, but we have some um, family coming into town the following week. But you know how um, it goes, like and between then, now uh, and when the I event actually rumors of another cruise potentially. So kind of waiting to see what transpires there. So okay, okay, you're gonna kind of like let the chips fall they will fall where they may and like assess your options right because like, like between now and when everything happens, people are always selling off their tickets too. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, does anybody um i'm trying to keep an eye on the questions um i think your wi-fi might be a little spotty i don't know is, is she lagging for anybody like in the chat let me know um i'm just gonna take a peek and see if there are any questions um okay okay oh okay um from carla again who did you think was the cutest after you met them <laughs> <laughs> Donnie? Yeah, for sure, Donnie. Because he was just so sweet and, and bright. He was that connection and it just making me feel comfortable and you know, getting on stage. Um, but John, I think, will always be like my full second. I love John so much. He's just yeah. so sweet. Um, I met him, I think, uh, on the cruise. and pictures with Danny and I met him as well. Um, but yeah, I think after going, it's definitely Sean. <laughs> fair, fair, yeah. Oh boy, okay. And 
my Wi-Fi is not. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? I'm, uh, I'm all out of questions. Is there anything else that, that you wanted to add? Anything that I missed that you wanted to share with anybody? Or are you good? No, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Uh, oh my gosh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, do you think you're going to be able to hang out in the chat as well? Yeah, definitely. Okay, sweet. Um, okay, I will, uh, I will take you down. I'll remove you. But again, thank you so much for joining. Uh, if you're not already, already following Jenny, um, if you go to the drop down menu, if you're in our live and you're watching the, if you're in our live right now, uh, you'll see the drop down menu. It has my screen name and Jenny's screen name, and you can follow her and catch up on all of the different um, memories that she has. Uh, being the original. Uh, cover girl and plus all her new adventures that uh, we know she's going to get up to this year and uh, i look forward to seeing you maybe at block con and maybe on the cruise yeah maybe. all right take all care right. jenny thank you bye, bye, -bye. <laughs> yay oh boy i think that the <laughs> her wi-fi was was getting a little spotty and that but that was perfect timing we got like you know, all the, all the goss, all the, the details that we wanted. Um, but yes, please follow along with Jenny so you can uh, see all the, hopefully she, cause she mentioned like um, that she posted like her ticket and a bunch of other, like, I think she's got some swag that's signed. So uh, take a peek at her Instagram and keep up with her. Oh boy. My friend is texting me. <laughs> uh, no problem. Thankfully it's uh, nothing urgent. Okay. Jen. I am looking for you now. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, I have sent the invite, Jen. Uh, her Wi-Fi was overwhelmed by Donnie vibes. I don't blame the Wi-Fi. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Really good, really good. Thank you. Um. I mean, your background, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, these are just some of my favorite pictures. Um, my friend Lisa got it for me as a present, so. I love it, I love yeah. it. So do you, like, do you use that, you know, outside of doing lives like this? Uh, no, I, I put it up for the live. It used to be up, um, but my husband gets a little weirded out because the top, <laughs> the top picture is, oh. <laughs> So, okay, I, we're I, gonna I, need to we're, we need to talk about that maybe a little bit later. On yeah, later. It's another cruise. <laughs> okay, so can you introduce yourself to everyone uh, in the chat and let them know from where you are joining? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, everyone. I'm Jen. Um, a lot of people know me as Coca Cola Jen. Um, I actually uh, was born and raised in Florida, but I am in Missouri now. I moved to Missouri last year, which was like the weirdest change <laughs> in my life. So. <laughs> did you go to the St. Louis show? I did. I okay. did, which was awesome. Yes. So, I was yeah. there too. So um, maybe we crossed paths there. Hopefully. Probably, probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Jen, what is your Blockhead origin story? Like when and how did you become a fan? So I am about as OG as it gets. Um, mm -hmm. My first concert was May 11th. 1988. Um, I actually found a picture yes. and I thought I would show it to you guys. So like, like this is like, they weren't even in costumes. So um, the posters were like cardboard with like black. And I remember like neon pink and it said like new kids on the block. And it was, it was like a outside arena. There were maybe like 200 people there. It was, you know, so how I, did you end up end up there like you were already a fan and you were following them yeah, and you're like through I, I had seen the signs and it was in coco which was like 15 minutes from my house and mm -hmm. so like my sister christine she was like yeah i'll take you let's go mm -hmm. and so we went and it was there weren't there wasn't seats anywhere it was standing room only like i was pressed up against a fence um, uh -huh. it was crazy <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, the shows have gotten a little bit more comfortable yeah, since like, then. No, like, not like, as much general admission. Wire. It was yeah. dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, um, okay. So, you were on the very first New Kids on the Block cruise. So, the, the cruise that was in 1990, folks. So, I want to know, like, I want to know everything. So, how, how did, beginning with, how did you end up on that boat? 
Okay, so it was actually a competition with Coca-Cola. Like, you had to fill out forms to mm -hmm. win. Um, and I filled out forms, but because I grew up in a town called Merritt Island, it was right next to Cocoa Beach, which was where all the cruises went out. Um, my mom knew a friend that was a travel agent. Mm -hmm. And she was like, hey, can you get my daughter on this cruise? And she was like, yeah, no problem. So my mom booked the cruise and I ended up babysitting to pay it off. Mm -hmm. Um, but we didn't win, but we just bought our way on. And I know everyone's going to want to know how much it was. It was $300. <laughs> yeah. That was definitely a cruise in 1990. <laughs> and that was a lot. Like, that was a lot. I got yes, to babysit definitely. a lot of kids yeah. to make that $300. Right. You know. How old were you? I was 17. 17. Okay. 17, yeah. And did I've you go go with like friends or like your mom well, my mom and dad had to go obviously i was a minor right okay. so my mom and dad went and my sister christine she came along with us the one that took me to the first concert she was like i'm going mm -hmm. and um then i had a couple friends who i their mom went and talked to the travel agency and they bought their way on too so uh justine and a girl by the name of jennifer okay and then everyone else was like you know uh, winners that were on the, like, you know, that I met, but there were two boats. Right. So. Right. There were, and, and you had said, you told me that on one boat, it fit what, 1300 people or something? Yeah, there was, thir I, I had an article that there was 1300 people on the boat that I was on. Right. Okay. And so where did the boats, like, where did it leave from? Um, how long was it? Where did you stop? Um, it left from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Okay. Um, and it was in October. Um, and I actually, it's October 22nd through the 26th. It was a Monday through Friday. Oh, so um, it's kind of like similar yeah. timing that they have yeah, now when they go in October. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Um, and it was, um, let's see, it was, so it was a five days. We went to, the first day we went to NASA. Okay. Um, on Tuesday, we went to NASA. Mm -hmm. And Wednesday, we went to this um, island. It was CK, I want to say it was called. Yeah. Um, like maybe it was salt, salt, salt K. Okay. I don't okay. even know where that, like, I, I didn't never even heard, like, I've never been there since. It might be I'm one of the of, private islands, maybe, I, that the cruise company yeah. owns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I, I'm not sure. I, like, I've never been there since. And then Thursday was a day at sea. And then Friday, like, they threw us off the boat, like they always do. So, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, like, you hear the announcements and they're like, yeah, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it seemed like, attorney as a 17 year old yeah yeah so what was your like what was the daily itinerary like what so what it's kind of funny because i was looking at the itinerary because yes and please if you want to start yeah. showing what you've got because i was folks, well, it, she saved everything like, i can't believe i actually saved this but this was like the monday itinerary right because it was it was premier cruise line which was disney cruise of the day okay and so but like they they were only mentioned twice on these itineraries monday there was yeah there was a lip sync contest and that's on here but the lip sync contest with with them it all or new kids, no it's all new kids okay. um songs so okay. like everybody competed and there was a, a winner a uh, couple of people were selected and they did it on our boat and they did it on the other boat. And then Tuesday night, they had this dock party and the guys judged the lip sync winner and picked. Oh, so okay. I, I, I didn't know about the lip sync contest because I'll tell you why. Because I was chasing the like there was I was trying to find a new kid. It was like I wanted I wanted I, at the time I was a Danny fan. <laughs> so I wanted any Danny that like, I why are you like, whispering that? Well, <laughs> Because a lot of people do <laughs> not kidding. know that. Like, a lot of people don't know that. They're like, what? Oh, you know? Okay. Like, when was she a Danny fan? Right. And right. I, I, it, it was when I boarded the right, boat. Right, right. So. Right, but by the time you uh, left the boat, you were. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, um, <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, and then Tuesday, so Tuesday they, we docked. And the guys got off our boat and went over to the other boat okay. to take pictures. Okay. Um, and then that night there was a big dock party. Um, so, so like, and you, everybody got to, you know, it was in between the two boats. Okay. But the very first day, like you boarded the boat and they were like, oh, go to the whatever room and go meet the new kids. And so you like 
boarded the boat and like went straight there. So oh, okay. I, and it, it, was that and your it, photo it was, op? That was, that was your photo op, oh, okay. but you didn't have to be a winner. It was like, it was like everyone could go. It was part of the, yeah. It, they were like everyone. part of the entertainment. Yeah. To meet the new kids, you know? Yeah. And so that was like the very first night that you, you, you went and you met them. Do you have the photo handy that you can show uh, us? I do. Of course you do. Yeah. Uh, so. Okay. So I see four new kids. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so if anyone ever wonders how does Donnie know he's seasick, it's because of this cruise. He was behind the curtain getting very, very very seasick. I have a picture of like D Danny, like checking him out, like, Hey, you okay? You know, but <laughs> he was really, really seasick. So, right. So <laughs> that's why now, like on cruises, we, he always has the, the, the patch on because and, he is, I guess, affected by the motion sickness. Yeah. And like, it was funny, like the first time I had gone on a cruise again with them, I was like, how many patches does he have on? <laughs> like, you know, right. <laughs> I know he needs them. Yeah, it was bad. Can you hold so. up the picture again just so we could see? Um, so cute. Okay, so the first time you showed this to me, I was um, taken aback by John's suit. It's, it, it had, it, it's the picture that's happening, like the, the scene that's happening on his suit are dogs playing pool. Yes, right? it is the dogs playing poker. Okay, oh, and it poker. Was, okay, yeah, and it. Oh, they were cool. Okay, it, it might be pool, but it's, okay. it is it pool? It, yeah, it's pool. It is right, cool. Right, right. Okay, so, but it was fuzzy because, like, <laughs> now mind yeah. you, I'm 17 years old and I just walked on a boat and I'm like, go meet the new kids, right? right? So by the time I walked up there, because as you can tell, I was a little hyperventilating right. here. I was a Danny. Fan. I love how with your was, hair, you're like oh, a foot taller than all of them. Yeah. And that was a lot of Aquanet, right? right. 90, like, <laughs> um, and of course, like that day, I think I probably did my hair like 10 times. Right, right. You know, um, so like, I'm like freaking out and John's like, it's okay. And I'm like rubbing his back, like touching his back. And it was fuzzy. So I like remember it being like fuzzy. Uh -huh. And I like Joey was like trying to talk to me because I literally was like, oh my God, you know? <laughs> <laughs> And like Jordan, I don't know where he is in the Wait, picture. Sure, He's sure. like, but again, I thought he was, he was, yeah. He was <laughs> it's Jordan, like ladies. first day of the cruise and he might be over it already. Yeah. Like, he's like, <laughs> I'm on a boat. So. <laughs> oh my, that picture is epic. I love it. You know, I, the only thing like I like have always wanted to do is like, I want to recreate this picture because I feel that. Like Donnie should pop his head out because yeah. I always get asked, "Where's Donnie?" You have to recreate that picture. I mean, I know that that that's kind of my requires... dream, but it, yeah, it, it would require that. It would say, require right? an ultimate, which is easier said than done. I've not done one, but yeah. <laughs> and you didn't re try to recreate it. I, I, you know, I wanted to. Okay. But I was afraid to. Ask. Yeah, yeah. You know, I Fair. was just happy. To I was just happy to be having an old yeah. Time, so yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So you are the first day you get on the boat, take your picture. Uh, oh, and you know, I wanted to ask, so you're 17. It's like you kids are like the height, the height of fame. And it's not like you have social media where you can like, you know, access them. It, how, how were you able to control your hormones essentially <laughs> as a 17 year old on the boat? Well, I was lucky enough that my sister, she's a few years older than me. She was there and she was like, don't look like one of those crazies. Like right, she right. was like trying to like, she was trying to tell me and she like helped me like learn how to, we would present ourselves in the right situation. Oh, okay. Like, oh, it looks like Danny's going to the buffet. Aren't you hungry? Right, right. <laughs> then, yeah. All of a sudden I want salad. Yes. Right. Um, and then also because I was older, mm -hmm. I wasn't like some of the younger people couldn't go into like the bar. Mm. So like, you know, on like Wednesday night, I remember going into the bar and like they were, the band was playing and Donnie jumps on and Donnie's like playing on the drums. I shot the sheriff, you know, and then like, <laughs> 
John, I remember John like being in the bar and he was drinking like white Russians or black Russians. I don't remember which one. It was a whatever. It was a Russian. Right. And I was just like standing there like, oh, he drinks, you know, like, I mean, I was 17. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so I was able to go do some of the other things that some of the younger fans couldn't do because I was 17, but I looked older too. So they all thought I was 18. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and then I was with my sister. So Right. Because, yeah. okay. So you were 17 and there were like children on the boat too. Cause I remember you showed me a picture where like there were kids like racing turtles or something. Yeah. Yeah. So um, <laughs> they, did, they did a beach party and they did, cause that was the event. So it was like, they took turtles and they put the guy's names on it and like the fastest turtle won. <laughs> and so I, I, I did not go to those again. So my mom took that picture for me okay. because I once again was playing a game of find a new kid. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, okay. So the back to the itinerary. So first day you board the boat and you hightail it to get your picture. Donnie's like, you know, vomiting in the back. Right. Um, yeah. Oh, so Meg is asking who won the turtle race. She was, you weren't, Jen wasn't there, but was, did your I, mom tell you? I wasn't there, but it was Joey. Oh. That won. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do there remember my mom was like, it was Joey that won. Because my mom loves, she loves Joey. And she loves Joey's mom and dad from, <laughs> you know, the moment. Because my parents, like, were sitting with their parents and stuff, like, at events, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, Becky is saying, I think they should bring back the turtle race. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> they should. Can you imagine on the next cruise if, like, the event, like, the beach event is, like, turtle racing hey, I mean I think a lip sync concept test would be awesome mm, yeah. or don't forget the lyrics yeah I, <laughs> I mentioned that before as like a, a potential uh game that they could be playing um does anybody remember the beach olympics on this past cruise whose team won like did, did Joe's team win I think it was a tie but because I'm curious if Joe's team won the Olympics and then they also, he also won the turtles. He's like on a, on a streak. Right. <laughs> Somebody's mm. saying, I'm sure Joey bragged about winning too. Probably. <laughs> I don't okay. think he knew. <laughs> <laughs> so what else, um, what else would, uh, you know, make up your day on the boat? Honestly, like they didn't have an itinerary. And that's why, like, I get it now, like mm. looking at it, like why the guys were like, that was a horrible experience. And I think what it was is because there was nothing structured mm. as far as like if they had done like some sort of events like they do now, like it was literally like, you know, thank God there wasn't social media and cell phones and yeah. stuff like that because it'd be like, ah, Joey's on the loop. You know what I'm saying? Like it was, you had to be in the right spot to see where they were going to, to follow them. And so most of the time, like it was Monday, you met them Tuesday, we went to the Bahamas, there was a concert and Wednesday we went um, to the other island and I walked the boat the whole day, just trying to like, you know, get pictures, okay. you know, and then Thursday was a day at sea. So it was way different because there was nothing structured. And I think if they had done something more structured, it might've been a little bit of better experience for them because for me, it was a time in my life still. Right. Like, right. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I can't imagine being again, like the, they're 17 years old in the height of their fame and like be being on the same boat as them like my mind would just like explode and it's true i would just spend the whole day walking around the ship just hoping to run into them right and then there were so many other family members there too and like yeah. some of them like some of them would rat them out and be like yo you miss good for someone like mark was very good for ratting out where was donnie you know <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you, there were a lot of, like, um, uh, family members and kind of, like, um, adjacent, you know, acts and stuff uh, who, who were on the boat. Who were some of the people that you got to meet? So, so uh, there were a ton, but it's, like, I was trying to think, like, off the top of my head. Yeah. So we'll start with Jordan's family. I met Jordan's mom, Sharon, Matthew. He was a little, little guy at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dave, his band at the time was homework. They mm -hmm. were there. Mm -hmm. um, so and that's their family. Joe, his mom and his dad were there. Mm -hmm. I definitely remember meeting them. And I know like some of the brothers and sisters, he had a sister that had really blonde hair. I want to say. A lot to keep track of. Uh, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I, don't know. Like, I, I was a Danny girl at the time. Right, so right. I got uh, Danny's entire family. Um, mm -hmm. And and, uh, you know, all of his brothers and sisters. Um, 
And of course, Dadwood was there and, uh, and Betty. Yeah. Betty was there too. Right. And so that's like one of my favorite pictures is me, Dan, and Betty. Because I'm like super tall and they're like super, super little. Like, <laughs> like I mean, this, this is like, now mind you, I am 17 and... <laughs> oh that's <laughs> yeah yeah that's sweet yeah. but yeah you don't look yeah. 17 I could see how you were getting yeah. away with hanging out yeah. in the bar yeah I was like and then um so Donnie's family Mark was there and oh, I do you have you have the you have the Mark photo I do and I now I met Mark previous I met Mark at the first new okay. concert okay I just was lucky enough he was like oh it's my brother's band he was kind of like this. lingering yeah yeah and then he uh, what he looks so young and he looks like he hadn't started working out <laughs> no so like it's funny because this was in 1990 and then like i don't know like maybe a year or two years later like he did that like under uh, like the underwear commercial yeah yeah and i was like no <laughs> and and the funniest thing is like miss so opportunity on the boat no, no, no. That's funny. My one of my friends, my friend Jen, Jenny Pearl, that was there. Like Mark thought she was like, like the cat's meow, and she was a super pretty girl, super sweet, and she was like appalled by him, and was <laughs> like Joey, 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 and I, I lost track of this girl, and like I wish I knew where she was so I could just be like, how about that time that, that like Mark Wahlberg tried to hit on you that worked out well for you? Like, I know. <laughs> She's I know probably, she's probably still kicking herself. Yeah. Like, no, he wasn't really hitting on me. He wasn't hitting on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, yeah. So he was awesome. Oh. Um, oh. I met Alma. Yeah. You know, Alma. Yeah. Daddy, uh, Donnie's dad. He was there. So, um, and uh, Dick Scott. Oh. Dick Scott okay. was there. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember Maury Star being on the boat. Though. Okay. Like, I met him a different time, but I don't. Think he okay. Was. So, yeah. Um, so somebody, what happened on Wednesday? <laughs> did, on Wednesday? Did Jordan actually leave? Did he actually helicopter off the boat? So he was gone. So the rumor has it right. that he took off on a helicopter. Right. And so like, I am like one of those, you know, let's do some research because it was like, oh, he went to a fight. He went to a fight in Vegas. So there was a Holofield fight in Las Vegas on okay. October, on October... I wrote she, it she comes prepared. She's done her research. Yeah, like I wrote it down. It was like October 25th. So I, I, I didn't see him leave, but he was not on that boat Wednesday mm -hmm. or Thursday. And there was a fight. So I, I'm going to go with he went to a fight. Right. Yeah. Meg's <laughs> saying a, a new kid's urban legend. But listen, she, Jen, who was on that boat, has said that no, yeah, he was, was nowhere to be found. He was nowhere to be found. And I don't think he would have just stayed in his room, right. you know. Right. <laughs> so did they have um like the like parties and like No, well, no no, that's the thing. So you kinda had to like find like make your own fun, you know? Okay. Um and so like Joey, um Joey was, you know, seventeen as well. So his thing was he liked to literally jump out of the hallway and just scare the crap out of you out of nowhere. <laughs> so <laughs> You know, it was like super funny because like he scared me very bad oh. and I screamed like, you know, and so then like, it was like, we would turn the corner, like running, is he going to be there? Is he not? You know, and He's then such a like, course, he, he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then like the guys made their own, uh, their own things to do. You know, um, Donnie had a eventful evening on Thursday night. So <laughs> he, you know. Uh you want to elaborate on that or yeah well i know i know it's one of your questions oh, but it's definitely something it. donnie so it's definitely one of the things that donnie decided to entertain himself and and i i will set the scene for you because i i was forewarned and thursday night it's the last night of the boat and it was like a regular cruise so they had captain's dinner so you're wearing your formal gear mind you i did my hair like you know you know so <laughs> um i would love to show you you a picture but I, I don't have a picture of me from okay. this evening okay. because as I, I i went to go to the dinner and i decided to walk through the lido deck to try to catch me a glimpse of a new kid on the way because that's what we do you know so i'm walking and mark stopped me and he says don't go out there 
he's gonna throw you in the pool. And I was like, who? And he's like, Donnie. I was like, Donnie's not gonna throw me in the pool. Ha ha ha. Uh, now I'm cha challenging it. I'm like, Adair, Adair Donnie, he's going to throw me in the right. pool. And I like, no, it's not going to happen. And so like I walk by and like that, that that's when it happened. That's that's when I fell in love with Donnie as he grabbed me <laughs> and, he, and he gave me that Donnie look, you know, that Donnie like that, like that mischievous. Look yeah. Yeah. And uh, he said, sweetheart, you're going in. <laughs> and he picked me up like I was nothing. Uh -huh. He dropped me in. And Wait, did he go I, in with you or he like he just threw you in? Just dropped me in. <laughs> just dropped me in. And, and and I was not the only one. Like there were other girls pulling themselves out of the pool from all the way. Like it was a game to him. Right, he right. was like throw throw a blockhead, you know. <laughs> throw me again. I'll I'll throw right. myself out and throw me back in. Right. Yeah. So I did not have the key to my room, so I have to get myself out of the pool. And I'm just like giggling and laughing. And it's so funny because this was my dad's like favorite story to tell about me as a kid. Um, so I go to the dining room, I'm soaking wet. I, I went straight to the dining room to try to get a key. And my dad looks up at me and he's like, what the hell happened to you? You know, I'm soaking wet. My hair is like, you know. And, <laughs> All of that hairspray yeah. gone to waste. And so my 17 year old response yeah. was Donnie Wahlberg just threw me in the swimming pool. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I thought that was like, like, that was the highlight of my cruise. Even looking back at it now, like, you know, I got to meet all the families and stuff like that. But I think it was just like him being a kid and connecting with us. Yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. I, I wish he would do it now. So like you were, Adam, but he was like, they were also being so childlike right. as well too, right? Right. Yeah, Ugh. absolutely. Do you have any other, um, I, you showed us a couple of pictures and some things. Do you have anything else that you want to show us? Yeah. So in the rooms, because it was sponsored by Coca-Cola, there was like a case of Coke in every room and stuff like that. And then there was the, this picture. Uh. Um, and then. Oh, and it's signed. My, it's signed. Well, it's like fake signs. Oh, okay. You know, fan, fan club signs. Right, right. Know. Um, and then they had a poster. I don't have the poster anymore. But this, my room, my bellboy, my, my dad said to him, listen, get my daughter all the signatures and I'll tip you well. And so he did do that. Wow. So I have like the old school signatures. Like when Donnie actually signed Donnie Wahlberg. Uh-huh, you know? uh -huh. And it says 1990. And then here's the one picture you can see Donnie. Where, that was before. Wait, where? Right. I right here. Wait, hold it up a little bit, a little higher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then I was gifted after the cruise, of course, because I'm sure no one would have just, yeah, they knew not to give it to me. But I have this much. I was gifted after the cruise, which is what is oh it's your all access well you didn't get to, you didn't have it on the cruise but some yeah yeah one of one of um one of mark's guys he's like here get, at the end because i was uh, i was saving everything i like i have coasters yeah i have the shower cap like <laughs> i don't know what like <laughs> like like a mint from if Andy's there's a museum like we need to hit up Jen to fill out the the nineteen ninety cruise section of the museum. Well, We've got everything. I, I probably am like the only one that has the itinerary. And like I'm like, that's like that's gold. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you sent me you were mentioning that, you know, they had a whole bunch of activities like um they, they, they were showing movies on the boat. And like you have the list of all the movies that they were showing at the time. Yes. So I was looking through them too because each night was a different night because I do remember like, we're like, Hey, let's go see if, you know, so-and-so we look at the movies and be like, Oh, that's something that, you know, Danny would see. Oh, so like, you right. know, or that's something that Joey would see. So like Monday night, the movie lineup was um, Joe versus the volcano and family business. That was Monday, which that's, that's wait, there's, it family, gets better. What's family, family business? I don't know who it is. I know Joe versus the volcano, but I don't know what family business is. Oh, okay. Tuesday is um, Tremors, mm -hmm. I Shrunk the Kid, 
An Innocent Man and Internal Affairs. Ooh, okay. I don't know what Internal Affairs is. So when, uh, Thursday was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Okay, who was gonna be at that movie? Did you? Did you? We were thinking it would have been Danny. Okay, like yeah. you know, like we were like you know, I was like Danny is gonna go see Ninja Turtles, like I, Danny or any of them really, because like Ninja Turtles. Well, yeah, they were know? they were really popular at the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then let's see, what was the other one? It was the other one. I was like dying laughing. Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. So that's laughing. for the the seven year olds on the boat. <laughs> Woman. Apparently, pretty woman. Yep. So, yeah. Yep. So, so I really, all the, the latest, all the latest, you know, blockbusters, I guess, from the day in 1990. <laughs> right. Wow. So they really had like um. Oh, what else was there in the offerings for for you guys? Like there was, you know, oh, I well, know that the new kids weren't there, like weren't participating. So it, it but was like a re it was like a regular yeah. cruise. So there was yeah. bingo. Um, there was uh, the comedian. J Jimmy Wallace, Ooh. he must have been the comedian of the day. Right. Uh, adult scavenger hunt. Oh, we need to bring that back. I don't yeah. know what it is, but it sounds great. <laughs> right. Uh, of course, bingo. When is bingo not on the boat? I think. Right. You know. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, Ashley is here. She says, hi, everyone. Just pooping in, probably uh, popping in. Maybe <laughs> she's been enjoying a couple of the trips. Oh, I get to watch y'all waiting uh, to get in line at the Skyliner. Hi, Ashley. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, yeah, so there was bingo and movies and what else? Um, bingos. It was like just like a regular cruise when you do yeah. a regular cruise now. Like um, comedy. Um, let's see. Pool games. Horse racing. Horse racing. Horse what is racing. that? It's, it's your time to post your it, on the pool side. What type of horses were that? They had to be like Mi fake horses or you know, miniature type things. Or maybe like in, you were like in an inflatable or something. Yeah. It's a <laughs> What's national that? wine taste. Oh, okay. okay. I was classy. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey, uh, Mickey and friends on birthday party and magic show. So, okay. <laughs> like, it was like a, a regular, you know, a regular lineup, and they, of course, they promoted the casino. You know, right? Yeah. Glass bottom boat. I would have. I would have loved to do a glass yeah. bottom boat. Yeah. Yeah. That I still. Fun. I would love to do one now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is snorkeling. Some. Um. I'm just gonna take a peek at see if there's any questions related to the cruise. Um. I mean, there are some kind of post post cruise questions, which I think we're going to get to, um, uh, because I know that you've had plenty of other uh, adventures. Uh, yes. Is there anything else? So before we get to that, was there anything else about that 1990 cruise that you wanted to share? Well, it's actually kind of funny because I called my sister Christine the other yeah. day, and I was like, "Hey, um, I'm going to do this interview. I want you to watch it." Blah blah blah, and so. She reminded me of something, and I don't know if I told you this. Did I tell you about what I took from Danny? No, you didn't. Okay, so mind you, I, I was a New Kids fan, and I was 17. Mm -hmm. So um, I had found a Ziploc bag, and it was black, and it was really kind of like, I had no idea what it was. in, what it was. Uh -huh. And so my sister reminded me that it was Danny's cantaloupe. Wait, his what? Cantaloupe. His cantaloupe. <laughs> Because Do you I still think, have the cantaloupe? No, no, okay. no, no. I got rid of it. I got rid of it when, like, when I re when the guys got back together and I pulled all my stuff out. I remember finding it. I was like, "Oh my god, what in the world is this?" Like, it, you know, <laughs> or what did it used to like, be? What did it leave? And I got rid of it. But when I was talking to my sister, she was like, "So do you remember when you you brought me Danny's cantaloupe?" And I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> And I remembered it. Like, I knew it the minute she said it. I remember doing it. And I was like, man, what type of BSC stuff was I doing at 17? <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> you know what? You were 17 years old. We'll give, we'll give it to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Emotion, your hormones were, were raging. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So, since the cruise, um, you, okay. So, we always ask about, wait you've, you've 
answer this question, what was your most legendary moment that was being thrown into the uh, pool yeah. of Donnie? Okay, so since the, uh, since you uh, you have been on a few post reunion cruises as well, right? I think you've yes. been on three? No, I've uh, missed, uh, I did not go on the first one. Okay. Because I wasn't going to pay all that money right. for a, a turtle game. Like, I was like, I'm not doing it. And right. so, like, so then, like, the video comes, and I was like, that was not what they gave me. Right. Like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Times have changed, right? Yeah, like, no more turtle I'm racing. I on that boat the next year. So I went there uh, the next year. Um, I did miss a year when I was pregnant. Yep. Um, and then uh, I did not go on the past past cruise. Okay, so you've been on a lot of cruises. And I'm assuming you've, you've gone to a lot of the, like, concerts, tours, etc. Um, what, okay, what brought you back in 2008? <sighs> Definitely the love. Yeah. Um, so like I, I'm 50 now. So when I first started like a new kid, I was 15. Mm -hmm. So more than two thirds of my life, I've been a fan. Mm -hmm. um, so it's family. It's, it's the people I've met. It's, I, I honestly cannot describe to you the people I've met. Um, I can't even name the names because mm -hmm. there's so many. Mm -hmm. um, and I just cry because, um, the people I've met have been so amazing. Um, my husband went through a real bad accident a couple of years ago, nice. and I cannot tell you the amount of people that were there for me mm -hmm. and my husband um, and are still there for me, checking in on me, checking in on him and telling me how much they miss me and miss him, you know, or, you know, just checking in. And um, no other group does that, like for their fans. No other group does that. There's not a sisterhood. It's, it's so different than um, it's, it's a true family it's like I, I love the Blackwood family more than my own family is that okay to say it is I mean yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and um somebody was asking I mean did did you like after you got off the boat that first time in 1990 did you um follow did you continue to follow along were you there during like face the music and like through their like solo careers like with Jordan and Joe so, um I was able to actually, I, I did still follow them somewhat, but I was able to chill okay. because I had met them and they were real people. So okay. at the time, like when I boarded the boat, my wall, my, my walls were like wallpapered. Mm -hmm. So I, I chilled it down. I just put the regular posters okay. and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> and then I got, I was, you know, I got married in 1994 when I was 21 mm -hmm. and the, okay. and the guys and the guys split up. So, yeah. um, that was, you know, I was kind of like, oh, all right, well, I'll live a married life. And so when they came back, I, I didn't even know about it. Like until okay. like my sister called me, the same sister. Yeah. And she was like, oh my God, turn on TV. You know, so um, it all came back. Everything came back. It, it was, I felt like a, a kid again. A kid again. So when you were on your first modern New Kids on the Block cruise, what was, what was that like having been on that first one and now, you know, you're a little bit older, they're a little bit older, people a little bit more mature. Um, <laughs> I, I think that, that, that would have been like a completely, you know, heightened experience for you given your uh, experience in 90. It was a major difference. Um, first of all, there were, it was all just fans at now, you know, so because um, in the 90s, there's people that just won to win, you know, win, you know, went to win. And um, wait, so wait, wait, sorry, right. in the 1990 cruise, there are people who what? Just like they, they won and went on the boat. Like the people wait, there were people on there who just like entered just to go on a cruise? Yes, yeah, like <gasps> the people that sat at our dining room table. She gave me like her winner's badge because she didn't even go to the pitcher. Like, she was like, I'm here for the cruise. And like, <sighs> she gave, like, so she gave me that. And then okay. like, she gave me a towel, like, they, you know, so it was a, it was a contest. Um, so there were people you know, oh, so here, everyone okay. was there for a purpose. Right. But and I thought, was, thought that since it was a contest, you know, to be on the boat with the new kids, that they were like marketing it towards you kids on the block fans. And that's who I would hope would have won, but really it was more like a win a cruise. Win a, win a cruise uh, with the new, they win a cruise and oh, by the way, the new kids on the block are going to uh, be there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> huh. 
Wow. Well, I wonder where those people are too, who just like happen to like trip onto the boat. Right. <laughs> and they're like, well, and it's crap, these new kids are here. It's like really loud. I've only met like one other person that was on the cruise, but they were on the Atlantic, which was right. the other boat. So that's boat. the other boat. The other boat. Mm -hmm. And like, rumor originally was was they were going to go down on one and come back on the other yeah. and I, I don't even know why that would be the rumor because like from a security standpoint why would you do that right you know um but yeah I've met one person that was on the Atlantic I've never met anyone else that was on the Oceanic I know there has to be people yeah. out, I mean, other than the, you know but not in the the current blockhead community right. have I met anyone which I just yeah. be like what do you remember you know yeah. because it was yeah, you need to like compare notes and oh, right. Right. Oh. Well, Donnie in your, your picture, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, because um, when I did cruise again, my mission was, I, I felt like I had a picture with all the other guys. Yeah. So my mission was to get a picture with Donnie and I waited, you know, what, 20 years mm -hmm. to get that. Mm, okay. And what's, wh where was that? When was that? Um, that was the second cruise because I, so I didn't do the first one. Right. And it was, um, tokenite like he, they just wore togas i want to say like yeah. they just came out and i was like i'm going for it i'm going to get my selfie with donnie yeah and it was just on the lido deck and he was walking down the stairs and i said can i please get a picture like i was like mm, you know and he so said does sure. he know you have you been able to tell him by the way i was on that first he does cruise yeah he does know um he actually he refers to me as coca-cola mm -hmm. so um he does know it. Um, all of them actually know it now. A couple cruises ago, they had done a video and they had touched base about the first cruise. Right. So and this was that um, that cruise DVD they gave a few years ago, and like yeah. I know it's it's on YouTube. Right. Right. Yeah. So we're all there. I'm sitting there with like Tattoo and Kevin and Barbie, like all my peoples, you know, and uh, they start flashing pictures, and I was like. Hey, that's my picture from the cruise. Uh -huh. Hey, that's my picture from the cruise. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh my God, that's me. And there I was on the Jumbotron, that picture. In all your glory, all your and all, glory. Yeah. <laughs> and so I literally was like, oh my God, that's me. And I had no idea they were going to do it. Right. Um, because like at one point in time, they said, hey, send us your pictures from back in the day. Sorry, and they we signed their rights to him. Like here, you can have them. Okay. So I had no idea it was going to be in the video, and so I literally started crying. And the guys where we were standing, the guys were walking by, and Joey like stopped. He's like, "Are you okay?" Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, my "Pictures." He's like, "Yeah, it's cool, right?" And he kept walking. So like, they didn't know, <laughs> you know. Cool story, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like. So they do know. Um, yeah, I think Donnie more than Donnie and John. You know, have, I like identify with me more. And Danny, Danny, you know, yeah, because he's a lot of on my heart. And Dad would, yeah. Dad would yeah. definitely remembers. Like he was like, I've known you since you were, you know. So. Oh, so okay. So what? Uh, what are okay? I want to know that kissing photo above. You. <laughs> what, what's the backstory with that? I mean, it was nothing, honestly. Uh, honestly, it was on the cruise. Johnny was walking the line up, taking pictures because he's so gracious, always doing selfies. And I, I guess I grabbed him and kissed him. I, and it, somebody like, caught, I like, like the somebody with the camera got like the yeah. perfect moment. I mean, and I was respectful. I've always been respectful, even before he was with Jenny. I just kissed him on the cheek. Um, yeah. But um, and I just thought it was a great moment, you know, like that. And then like. You know, there's a few moments, like when I did my ultimate, That's your he, ultimate was yeah. talking, he was talking to me because I was giving, uh, I was actually giving him crap about him not being in my picture because my button was, is the um, picture. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and I've gone to the set a few times and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. he definitely knows me. I miss him. So. Oh, it's too bad. Donnie's, I don't think Donnie's in the chat. It would be really great if he were to pop in and yeah. say hi to Coca-Cola Jen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully he'll he'll uh, be able to to watch the replay. Yeah, um, because these are these are amazing stories. I'm really wondering if he remembers all of these stories from the from that first cruise. Right, and I wonder like how I've always wondered like how many girls did he throw in that night? You know, like 
how many people like I, mean, I was a fan but like what it was anyone that wasn't a fan that just randomly got thrown in by punk donny Wahlberg? You right know right like, yeah. i still can't get over the fact that there were some people on that boat who again they were just there to be on a cruise and then you guys just happened to be there i wonder if they like you know made any new fans out of that that would have been really really cool they probably did yeah. you know i mean my mom she she knew i was a super fan but like my parents became like super fans after right because like she had converse like she talked you know with alma and she talked with betty and she couldn't believe how amazing they were and how amazing the families were to us um and she had like wrote an article up to the newspaper just how gracious they were yeah. um and you know seeing my dream come true you mm -hmm. know because i was a senior in high school <laughs> so, so you would have had to taken time off of school then for this right yeah uh -huh. i missed the whole week yeah uh -huh. so that was fun my mom wrote a note to the principal and was like yeah jen's gonna miss a week she's gonna go on a cruise with the new kids so so and, to my question to jenny about once the video came out what was the response like when you came back from your cruise and people knew where you were what was their response well, but it was actually kind of funny because I was like, I'm going on the cruise with the new kids, blah, blah, blah. Everyone was like, all right, yeah. We'll see if you actually meet them. Right. You know? And then I come back with like this picture and all these pictures and they were like, wow, like you really met them, you know? Yeah. Um, and it was, it was cool because like everyone, I, I was, I was known as like the new kid fan okay. in the school. Like yeah. if there was a concert, Jen's going, you know, I had like the tour jacket, that, like the black and white one that you bought offline and, mm -hmm. you know, so. Do you still um, have it? I do. You must, right? Yeah. I do. Yeah, I do still have you it. Probably it's probably have right? a lot of good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's I do. It's been a long time. I have the new kids on the block game. Okay. The actual, that's a fun game. My friend Jen and I, we've played that before. And that's, like a really fun game to play, especially if you had a couple cocktails. What was, what's the point of the, the game? What's the. I don't know. Cause we played it with cocktails. Oh, okay. but... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, it's kind of like shoots and ladders, new kids style. Oh, <laughs> I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I have like the cards, like all the baseball cards. Yeah. And like, of course there's like all those trivia questions, which those trivia questions on the back of those cards, those were the trivia questions they asked on the cruise. Amateur. So it's like, duh, of course. Well, right. but then again, I guess there were some people on the boat who wouldn't have known yeah. uh, their yeah. answers. But for the, the real fans, yeah, that was oh, like When I found easy. out that there was a trivia concert, a contest, it was at the concert. Yeah. And they were like, oh, bring up the trivia winner. I was like, I looked at my sister and I was like, why did we not go? To this oh, trivia. you missed that too. I didn't go. Oh, and she was like, "You were supposed to meet me there, but you didn't." I I was searching for anything. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll give it. We'll give that to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So okay. So uh, aside from your uh, 1990 cruise and the pictures that you've showed us here, um, what's been one of your like most legendary moments uh, as a fan? <sighs> as a fan now yeah yeah now um well, there have been so many yeah. but yeah. i will definitely go back to um there was a night it was right after remix came out and mm -hmm. i know tattoo is in the crowd and she will tell you we kevin and me and tattoo and and nina like we thought it was going to be great we are we are going to recreate this moment okay and my friends are in the pool lisa's there jenny's there they're like rolling in their rafts like pir pir like pirouetting and the i jumped into the pool <laughs> remix i and i i ended up on stage okay and donnie's telling me wait hold on to crawl. hold on a second i'm confused yeah. so we you were just talking about you were in a pool. Yeah. And, and you recreated and got, the remix video. Right. And, and guys were on the stage. It was new kids on the cruise. They were on stage. And oh, okay. Was singing the song, okay. I and I, I jumped in on cue. And um, he saw it and they he turned around and he just started dying laughing and cued me out. And I ended up on the stage and um, I was very wet. short. Uh, soaking wet <laughs> again with Donnie. <laughs> 
<laughs> that seems Donnie to be a theme which, in your yeah. relationship uh, with <laughs> in your interactions yeah. with Dottie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was like so much. I mean, there's been so many, though. Like, yeah. how do you pick? Right, you know? right. Well, that's I why mean, I just say just pick one of your legendary moments because I know you, you must have a lot. Yeah, yeah. And you share, I know that you were um, really active on TikTok. I am. Um, I love me some TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I love me some TikTok too. Um, so is your, what's your handle on TikTok in case anybody um, isn't following you and wants to follow um, along? It's, it's Jen and Mena, but it, it is Coca-Cola Jen. Okay, so okay. So people- I try to put that on everything. Yeah. So. Okay, but like folks can follow you on Instagram and I'm sure they'll be able to make their way to uh, where you are on TikTok. Too. Absolutely. And if anyone wants to like me to send them pictures of it so they can see it, you know, I mean, like this is some cool stuff that I feel it should be, I feel it should be in BlockCon. I feel yeah. it is yeah. memorabilia that other fans should really have an opportunity to That's see. That's a good idea. I um, a tattoo is saying something about a stripper pole. <laughs> It's that. So, okay. Um, and Donnie was still doing those like dirty talk conversations. <laughs> and so, you know, back rub, that one? Yeah, the back yeah. rub. And so we decided we were going to make our room the moist room. And, and <laughs> I was like, we'll bring in a stripper pole. And so we actually brought a stripper pole. It was like the third cruise. Mm -hmm. And, and it, uh, uh, Naughty by Nature was there. Like, I have a picture of Vinny on the stripper pole with me. Um, Donnie came walking in. He was like, what in the world are you doing? And I was like, I, I'm, I'm trying to install a stripper pole. Do you think you could help me? And he was like, <laughs> uh, you know. Um, <laughs> but we, Not my job. <laughs> right, uh, he, he knew how to put it up. Um, Interesting. You know, but we had done it. We had done it because, like, at the time, rumor was, there was like a stripper pole on Danny and Donnie's bus because this okay. was before Jenny. Right, right. So I was like, let's do it. And I was like, we, we want, let's get attention. You know, like, what can we do that's going to be crazy? And I, like, when I'm on the boat and I'm like, come in the room, let's do a shot. I'm like that girl. Like, I may have met you once, I met you a hundred times. I will, I love you, you know? So we wanted to just have something fun. So I was the one that brought it. And my friends do still carry it on. I do understand it was on the boat this past year. Yep. And I Honestly, saw that it my... was uh, honored well by some new kids. So <laughs> I know that, like, um, I think Kevin, I think it was Kevin's room that had the stripper pole. And we were, like, a few doors, like, in the same hall as him. And, like, I'm so dumb. Like, walking, like, past it, they have the door open. I see the pole. And me, I'm thinking, wow interesting room they have a pole like you know like i'm thinking like a structural pole in the middle of their room huh interesting that's an interesting like feature of the room like i didn't realize that it was a stripper pole i just thought that it was again like a pillar in the middle yeah, of the no, room and maybe and they that, got like a discount is, on the room <laughs> it's funny because that's kevin's second or third stripper pole because there, I had one, and the next year Kevin brought one, so there were two poles on the boat. Okay. Um, and but like the first year, like as I carried it, like I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's in it like a bag, and, and it's is kind, it of, kind like of like a telescopic like, type thing. Like it, it's in two pieces, oh, so it's in. I can carry in like a rifle bag. <laughs> like they were like, "What's in the bag?" Yeah. So like the first year, everyone was like, "What's in the bag?" And I thought it was like I was like, "It's a stripper pole, Carla's like saying, you know, uh, for fitness reasons, of course." For fitness, yes, yeah. yes. And I mean, and of course, we've always placed the pole so as you walked by, yes. you could see you the could pole. See it. Yeah. And you know, not that the new kids have ever seen strippers, but they all were able to identify that that indeed was a stripper pole. You know? Right. Right. So. <laughs> Yes, they're very innocent. They're probably like, oh, again, like me, what an interesting architectural feature to the room. <laughs> and the middle of the room is just this random pillar. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so um, do you have anything um, planned, like, in your calendar to, uh, like, participate in any of the new kids' adventures this year? Uh, like, are you going to the rodeo or the California show, BlockCon? So, I feel like a really bad fan. Um, <laughs> I really, really want to do BlockCon. My husband has never met the guys. He wants to meet them. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, because of his injury, I can't really leave him. Uh, okay. We have to go. Um, which, so I'm hoping and praying that I can make it to BlockCon. Because I'm in Missouri, yep. 
it's in Illinois, which isn't that far. And like, I feel like, I feel like I should be there. Like I, like I'm OG. Like I feel like my heart is going to die if I'm not there. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think I, uh, people in the chat, do we think that uh, Jen should be at BlockCon? Uh, I, I do. I think she should be there. I'm, I'm going to try to make it. I promise you guys. So, you know, I, I would make a trade. Like, I'm like, hey, if, if the new kids see this, I have a lot of itinerary paraphernalia you may need. And I could bring it to them. Right. Exchange. Uh -huh. I mean, I've never asked for anything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just put it out there. Put it out there. <laughs> But, but where there's a will, there's a way. Like you said earlier, people always sell tickets and stuff like that. Like, I would love to do the cruise again, yeah. um, but I'd want, I'd want Matt to go. Your husband to go. Yeah. 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 I think, I, has he um, gone to like any of the concerts with you? I know he hasn't met them, but has he, he at least experienced them live? So he actually um, was so awesome. Guys came into town and um, over to Tampa to go see him. I saw him in Orlando and Tampa and he went over to the Tampa event. He didn't go to the concert because I had just had a baby. Okay. So he stayed at the hotel with the baby and he cooked kabachi for like a whole bunch of us. Um, so he got Wait, the experience. He like, what? He cooked kabachi in the oh, hotel room okay. for he us. So when, we got okay. back from the, so when we got back that night, like there was kabachi for everybody. Yeah. So he got to experience like the blockheads. That like he met Kevin energy. at party, tattoo, yeah. like the energy, like and the excitement and uh, we had VIP. So I was like super excited, right. you know? Um, so he got to experience that and he has definitely got to experience a lot of the love, especially because of his injury. Yeah. Like he actually, he just sat down cause I guess he wanted to say hi. Hi Matt. <laughs> hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Hopefully so. we'll see you um, at, at BlogCon Matt in a, uh... In May. Oh my gosh, I'm losing track of time already. In May. Yes. I know, right. And that would be 35 year reunion for my first concert. I should be there. Right. Okay, we're putting it out there. We're going to manifest uh -huh. this. You will be, manifest. you and Matt yeah. will be at BlockCon in May for the 30, 35th anniversary of your first concert with all the memorabilia that you have. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. That would be, uh, yeah, that would be an interesting panel or feature to, to the crew. Uh, to the block on right and yeah. like a little show and tell we'll make it happen. i would i honestly would let them have it i would let them have it because i would love for the other blockheads to look at it and see yeah. it um you know i don't i don't think that, that they have that i wonder if like um maybe like if, if danny's dad would have it although i'm not sure he would have held on to like shower caps like like right did, i don't but... i don't know if maybe that he would have held on to the itinerary you right know what i'm saying right. like all that like uh, I think we do it now as adults. Like, I mean, you know, we keep like I have a binder of itineraries and all this stuff from the cruises that I've kept. Yeah. But these ones, like, I don't know. You know, I, I I haven't met anyone from the cruise, so I don't know. You know what? I feel like if they if if somebody had those things, that they would have put like they would like we would know, right? They would be in the in the community, right? already right showing this and so far it's it's just you you're our you're our <laughs> 1990 <laughs> cruise historian you were there right. yeah right. and like i said like it's it does get me like the guys say how much they didn't have a good time and i understand it now looking back but man it was the time of my life at 17. yeah you know it was the most amazing. i mean that's it, every and every year since then like they, you know what i'm saying every year it's like it can't get any better it can't get any better and then it gets and, it's better. and it gets better. Yeah. So, well, I mean, 2023, you know, there's, there's a, a few things on, on the docket right now, or, you know, in our calendars and hopefully there's more to come. And I hope I get to meet you it was, at BlockCon. It awesome. Yeah. It was yeah. so funny. Cause when you were talking to Jenny earlier, yeah. like yes. I was on that cruise. Yes. And so like, so like I actually knew she was on the boat okay. and they was like, shh, 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 you know, mm -hmm. um, so the night of that she was on, like after, like I hung out with her, I don't remember whose room it was. It may have been mine. It may have been whose room it is, but like we hung out and like, I heard her story. Cause like I, the like, cover girl is my favorite song. Yeah. I have it tattooed on my ankle. Oh, you know? wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like a, a fangirling, you know? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I messaged her the other day, like, she's just amazing. But I was like, you were there. Like you said, you were there. And I was like, 
and I have a like, I, like, I don't know. Like we've, you know, I've, I've probably seen you on the boat, just I've never actually met. So I'd love to meet you in person. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I'll be at BlockCon. You're going to be there too. So yeah. we will definitely, we will definitely make, <laughs> make a priority to, uh, to, uh, to see each other. And you know what? It's going to, it's going to be a lot of, it's going to be a great event. There's going to be a lot of catching up. We all have to do. Um, it's history. <laughs> it's history, right? Yeah. I mean, and I've waited my whole life for this. Like, yeah. yeah. You've prepared, right? You, you've held I, on, like you've collected all of these memories since 1988 and held on to all the memorabilia. Like, this is your moment, right? right? Uh, yeah, like, I deserve to bring out my comic books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think just, you know, make sure that when you transport everything, you take very good care of it, you know, like get everything insured, you know. I don't know about that, but you know what I mean. Take very, it's very, it's precious cargo, essentially. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Well, I, like, I don't have any other questions. Is there anything else that you wanted to add about, um, you know, your cruise experience or your, you know, post cruise experience or anything that you want to put out there that I missed? You know what, I would just say to anyone that I've ever met, mm -hmm. as far as with the guys, um, I'm blessed. And I thank each and every one of them for every moment I've ever had. And I can't wait for more. But um, that's the best part is having the sisterhood. Mm -hmm. And you know, like when we lose a blockhead sister, we all cry. Mm -hmm. um, she was an amazing person and we've lost so many. Yeah. And there's so many amazing blockheads out there. And um, I just, I feel so blessed and I'm happy that I still have this family. This is my family. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to have you as, as part of the family as well. Yeah. Thank you. We're, we're, all, <laughs> we're all very, we're all very lucky. Um, and thank you to everyone who uh, is watching the live and who's going to watch the replay. Hopefully the new kids are watching this. Donnie, I hope you're watching mm -hmm. this because we got to get this. Uh, we got to get Jen mm -hmm. to, uh, to block mm -hmm. on. Um, and again, happy birthday to Ashley and Elena over in Disney World. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, thank you for pooping in. And thank you for popping in as well. <laughs> we will Come see... we said hey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we will see everyone uh, here next week, next Wednesday, the usual time. And uh, stay tuned to our socials. Oh, and follow Jen if you aren't already. Again, um, you know, grab her handle from the drop down menu. And we will see you guys next week. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.